I've got another Christmas story. This one dating back a bit, back further. World War I. <coughs> the very first Christmas of World War I, and World War I was just a hellacious war. There were trenches that ran from the North Atlantic Sea through Belgium, through France, all the way to the Alps. Millions of soldiers, the Germans in gray, the English in khaki, the French, I don't know what color uniform they had, but they're living in these trenches, and every morning the artillery goes. And occasionally they, they would charge and get shot down or you know gain 10 yards or lose 10 yards. They just trade back and forth, and they just would bury the soldiers right there in the spot. You know, they'd have soldiers back here that died a month ago, and here two weeks ago, and here a week ago, and here last night. It just, it's just a terrible, terrible war. So Christmas Eve comes, and it's silent. And the soldiers wake up the next morning. They, you know, they all have this little short, uh, you know, inspection type of a thing, or they all get together, get their orders for the day, and they all are sort of wondering, and they're, they're they're breathing and it's cold and their fingers are numb when they're holding their, their guns and they're, they haven't heard any artillery yet. And they don't hear any. And suddenly, three German soldiers step up. It was the Germans who did this. Three German soldiers stood up with no guns, no bayonets, and very cautiously started to walk towards the English line. And the Englishmen saw this and suddenly jumped up out of their trenches and just ran up there and greeted the Germans. And they started singing songs, they started singing Christmas songs, you know. And it was just like this wonderful experience of love between these, what had been these bitter enemies the day before, and they just, in their isolation, had to reach out and find love on that Christmas day. The next day, of course, they're back to war. <laughs> but at least for a day. And the reason I, I bring out this story is that in the midst of this tremendous trial, in the midst of these very, very difficult times, they found a place for love. And in our own lives that are generally not so trying, could we not find a place for Christ to be born and just to express a little bit more love, just a little bit more? And day by day it becomes a habit and then a stream of love and then a river and then 